Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Hillary Rodham Clinton is responsible for advocating for modern-day slavery Caldwell exposes truth. Fox News analyst Gianno Caldwell called out Hillary Clinton for being a hypocrite about the NFL. Hillary let her opinions be known about the protests, and how much she supports black people. But her track record proves a very different story. She said the protests were about racism. That's what black athletes kneeling was all about. That's not against our anthem or our flag. Actually, kneeling is a reverent position. It was to demonstrate in a peaceful way against racism and injustice in our criminal system, said Hillary. I think it would be a grave error for Democrats to recede from those fights, so therefore we have to stand up, fight back, resist, said Hillary. Caldwell called out Hillary for her hypocrisy. Hillary Rodham Clinton is responsible for advocating for modern-day slavery, and I'll tell you why, Caldwell said. The 94 crime bill led to the three-strike rule. It also took funding for education and training out of the prison system which led to a recidivism rate of 75% after five years, said Caldwell. So when we think about the issues that players and others are protesting, oppression, systematic racism, which does exist in America, we can thank the Clintons for their role in that, he said. George Lopez makes disgusting anti-Trump joke at charity event, immediately gets served brutal justice. George Lopez decided to make a barrage of anti-Trump jokes during a juvenile diabetes charity event in Denver. He soon learned the hard way that nobody wanted to hear any more Trump bashing. According to Page Six Trump backer and Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffei donated $250,000 but requested that Lopez cool it with the anti-Trump jokes at the carousel ball. According to one commenter who was at the event George Lopez was booed, but he kept going. George was asked nicely to stop making Trump jokes by a man in front row Maffei who just donated $250k. George doesn't, continues. Gets booed, wrote the commenter. After the 250,000 donor told him to stop, Lopez mocked him for his white privilege. Thank you for changing my opinion on old white men, but it doesn't change the way I feel about orange men, said Lopez. Listen, it's about the kids I apologize for bringing politics to an event. This is America, it still is. So I apologize to your white privilege, said Lopez. Lopez made some jokes about the border wall. I guess you can get some Mexicans to do it cheaper and they wouldn't crush the tunnels underneath," said Lopez. After the event TV host Chris Parandi posted the following on Twitter. Big controversy, host of huge charity hashtag carousel ball, at George Lopez, makes political comments about Trump, drops F-bomb and is escorted out. Joy Behar just begged people not to make fun of The View, we are important people right now. It's hard to find anyone in the entertainment industry who possesses quite the same cocktail of self-importance and stupidity as the self-involved liberal hosts of ABC's political daytime talk show The View. In the wake of the scandal about film producer and hardcore liberal Harvey Weinstein's many sexual assaults, The View's Joy Behar and her co-host sounded off on why they does not believe people should criticize The View hosts or late-night comedians for not tackling the Weinstein story. Said The View's Sonny Hostin in a discussion with talk show host James Corden, last week everyone was saying the late-night hosts didn't mention the Weinstein scandal. But you know they were always making jokes about Roger Riles and Bill O'Reilly. SNL took a hit for not saying anything. Now you have SNL doing something. You have James Corden doing something, and now it's, oh, it's in poor taste, it's too soon. Chimed in joy, why? Rose McGowan particularly singled out Corden. I really don't think that it's appropriate to attack comedians. We're on the right side of things.
She then went on, pompously, also, the comedians are there to say the emperor has no clothes. We're important people right now. So, I don't know why attack comedians. And yet what you just said is interesting. She only went after Corden. Camille made a joke. Oliver made a joke, SNL, we all do that. Said co-host Sarah Haynes in politically correct fashion, she, Rose McGowan, used not productive language. She called him a piglet. Like she made fun of his weight. There is a difference, making a joke about the accuser and the person who is the pig in this situation, in this case Harvey Weinstein. You're making a joke about Harvey. Do you think Beher and the other hosts on The View are deluded about how important they really are? Hanoi Jane Fonda just said on TV that she is not proud of America. Academy Award winner actress and former exercise video star Jane Fonda earned the enmity of decent, patriotic Americans when during the Vietnam War she declared that she was sympathetic to the Soviet-backed North Vietnamese forces and announced her support for American troops fighting there. In the past couple decades, the Clute star has taken on very few film roles. However, the fact that she has mostly stayed out of the limelight clearly does not mean that her thinking and her politics have evolved in any way. Fonda recently appeared on a British television show called Heart on BBC, and the program's host Stephen Sacker asked Jane if she felt pride in the United States at present. Disturbingly, although predictably, she told the British interviewer that she did not. Sacker asked Fonda very directly, Let me ask you a simple question. Are you proud of Are you proud of America today? Jane replied, emphatically, no. The former Mrs. Ted Turner then continued, but, I'm proud of the resistance. I'm proud of the people who are turning out in unprecedented numbers and continue and continue over and over and over again to protest what Trump is doing. I'm very proud of them, that core. Later, when asked about the NFL protests during the national anthem, Fonda told the host that she would not just get down on one knee during the anthem, but she would gladly get down on all fours. Are you disgusted by extremist Jane Fonda? Hillary Clinton hospitalized in the UK after a horrible accident. Hillary Clinton was supposed to show up to the BBC Women's Hour Graham Norton show in the UK. But, she never showed up. That morning she was a part of a horrible accident and was hospitalized. While in the hospital she revealed that she was carrying coffee when she fell down and broke her toe. This isn't the first strange incident of Hillary falling down. I was running down the stairs in heels with a cup of coffee in hand. I was talking over my shoulder and my heel caught and I fell backwards, Hillary recalled. I tried to get up and it really hurt. I've broken my toe, she said. She went on to compliment UK's healthcare system. I've received excellent care from your excellent health service, said Hillary. She had been making a series of vile speeches in the UK, attacking our president and our country while promoting her book What Happened. The morning host Philip Schofield posted his disappointment on Snapchat. Supposed to be interviewing Hillary Clinton. But she's fallen over and hurt her foot. Gutted, he said with a photo of an empty chair and Hillary's book. I'd read the book and everything. Apologies, complained host Jane Garvey. And it appears they have learned a valuable lesson about relying on Hillary Clinton. Hillary just said her losing the election was like 911. Democrat Hillary Clinton evidently still cannot come to grips that she actually lost the 2016 presidential election. In some ways it's hard to blame her, as nearly every single poll had been telling her for months that her election day win over Republican Donald Trump is a lock. It's been nearly a year since the worst day of Hillary Clinton's life and it appears she has been coming more and more unglued as she continues on her book tour of Hillary-friendly liberal places promoting her book What Happened. Now, sickeningly, 
Hillary has even been comparing what happened that led to her losing with the September 11th terrorist attack on the World Trade Center. Hillary claimed that there was interference that was a cyber 9-11 and said, I think there are a lot more connections that have yet to come to light. Continued increasingly delusional Hillary, we had really well-respected security, intelligence veterans saying this was a cyber 9-11, in the sense it was a direct attack on our institutions. That may sound dramatic, but we know that they probed and tried to intrude into election systems not just the social media propaganda part of their campaign. She then continued to push the Democrats' fanciful conspiracy theory about Vladimir Putin, saying, this is an ongoing threat and stating that she believes the Russians are not done. Do you think Hillary has lost her mind?